Hi everybody, Tracy Brown here. I found this really nice little park. Um, it's a little breezy, but it's a beautiful day. Lots of trees, lots of shade, and there's a beautiful fountain in front of me. So if you hear background noise, um, maybe we can, we can just enjoy that. Um, so I wanted to make a video around, honestly, cutting yourself a break. If you feel like you're struggling with the beginnings here of intuitive eating. And I say that because I don't expect anybody who works with me to know how to accurately hear and honor signals of hunger and fullness. And the reason that is, is because most of us, ha most of us have had months, years, or decades of using external bar barometers as a way to decide how, when, and what to eat. And so one of the first things I see people struggle with is they start eating a bigger variety of food, maybe even foods they haven't let themselves have with full and free permission for a really long time. And then I'll look at their journals or we just go over it together and I see lots of restriction. And sometimes purposeful, but sometimes not. Like just not recognizing that um, they're not eating enough and they'll be surprised like well i had ice cream or i had lasagna for dinner what do you mean i didn't eat enough this day um so the answer to that is well yes you did eat a richer more dense food or meal but you didn't let yourself get to actually fullness with it or satisfaction or if you look at the rest of your day you actually didn't eat enough for breakfast even though you had a fuller dinner and there's lots of reasons for that you may have decided that I'm having lasagna for dinner tonight, darn it. But there's fear around that still. And there's fear of what will happen with your weight. So there's earlier on restriction of the day, conscious or unconscious. There's um, just overall, like not knowing what like that good, solid feeling of doneness feels like because you've been restricting so long. Now, if you're coming from the other perspective and either you're emotional eating quite a bit or binge eating or you're back and forth between binge eating and um, restriction and dieting, there will still be a difficulty sometimes of knowing like how much is enough if you're not in binge or emotional eating mode. So um, don't be surprised. Some people think like, well, I eat enough. And that often is the case, but we are still not at the place where we're totally out of guilt about that. So that will sometimes lead to getting a little under satisfied, which then in turn will turn into other possible be, uh, behaviors with food and making it that intuitive eating doesn't work. And in fact, that's not the case. The signals are there. They're awaiting us to listen, waiting us to be honored. It's just that we have these other um, different rules or sets of conditioning that are a little bit in the way. So. That's why I encourage people who are starting this journey, don't try to like figure this out alone. I did that and it took me five extra years of recovery that it should have. Um, and all that kind of stuff happens for whatever reason, or maybe it doesn't, but there are plenty of resources now. So if you're watching or listening to this and you've been on the fence about getting some extra support, not just through um, you know talking to friends or in groups or whatever, like Facebook groups or whatever, I mean, that's amazing and you should utilize that. I run Facebook groups that provide that kind of support. However, um, the people I know who get through this, uh, myself and um, the clients I've worked with included, you just cut the time that it takes for you to get really on with the business of living your life if you have that external support um, with this process. And all that means sometimes is learning to eat mechanically and having support to do that in a non-obsessive way or um, just having somebody recently reinforce that you're on the right track, you're doing good. Um, don't let up or here's what I'm seeing, the old stuff sneak back in. You may not see it yet, but I, I see it happening. And you know, how come that's happening and how can we switch gears with that and um, provide you with more tools to ride the wave of whatever it is you're experiencing without going back to restriction or emotional eating. So that's the video for today. If you have any other questions, um, you can find me at my website, tracybrownrd.com and call or email me, Facebook message me if this is where you're finding this. And so let's see how we can get started getting you on track.
to a place where you feel like that even though this is still a process and it's still challenging, you have, there's a plan, there's tools in place that you can continue to use and to layer on top of to where you don't have to figure this out by yourself. All right, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.